upon a time, there lived a king. Like other kings, he had a really neat castle to live in and a lovely little kingdom to rule. But unlike other kings, this king spent most of his time in the bathtub. Oh yes, his name was George. King George. Um, King George, uh, your highness, do you think you'll be coming out anytime soon? We have important business to discuss. What do you think, Ducky? Oh, I couldn't agree more. Uh, not right now, Lewis. We're not finished with our royal bath. <coughs> it's quite <coughs> important, sir. Oh, Ducky, why can't they just leave us alone? Yes, it was a little odd. You see, the kingdom was at war. The Great Pie War, to be exact. And usually, when a kingdom was at war, the king would, uh, help. It'll have to wait, Louis. First things first. Right, Ducky? King George loved to take baths. But most of all, King George loved his rubber ducky. Some kings love horses, and some kings love cattle. Some kings love leading their troops into battle. But me, I'm not like that. I find that stuff yucky. I'd much rather stay in my cub with my ducky. Because I love my duck. Uh, sir, if I could have a minute. Love my duck. There are some things we must discuss. I love my duck. See, there's a war and well, we're in it. Love my duck. Oh, I don't mean to make a fuss. Then don't. Sing with me, Lewis. Huh? Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> because he loves his duck. And that is why I can't be bothered. Loves his duck. With a particular the war. He loves his duck. Cause quite unlike my dear old father. Loves his duck. I find it all a bore. Now concentrate, dear Lewis. And I think you will agree. The most important person in the whole wide world is me. So please don't drag me down with all the people and their troubles. Go run some water in my tub to freshen up my bubbles. Oh boy. Because I love my duck. I don't know why I even bother. Love my duck. You just can't reason with this guy. Because I love my duck. duck. It's time to face the facts. I think we're all a little stuck. So let the army run amok. I fear the kingdom's out of luck. Because I love my duck. Yes, undoubtedly we're stuck. So let the army run amok. Oh boy, we're really out of luck. Because I love my... Hey, what's that? Give me a quarter. I want it. What? The house? No. The ducky. Oh. 
But you already have a ducky. What are you saying? That I shouldn't have whatever I want? Well, I must have it, I must get it. You must go and get it for me. If you want me to be happy, then you'll show me you adore me. Don't rest another minute till it's sitting here before me. If you want to do your best, I would suggest you go and bring me back that duck. But sir, if I could just jog your memory, you already have quite a few duckies. Those are yesterday's duckies. Huh? What, what, these are all perfectly good duckies. Why, most of your loyal subjects would love to have even one ducky this nice. I don't like these, I don't need these, I don't want these any longer. My affection for those duckies isn't getting any stronger. To say I can't have what I want, you couldn't be more wronger. Don't ask me to explain, there will be pain if you don't go and get that duck. Our conversation is over. Did you say wronger? What? I don't know. Perhaps. It's more wrong, not more wronger. <laughs> It had to rhyme. Don't question a king's grammar. Now go and get that duck. But King George, we can't just barge in and take Thomas's duck. Why not? Well, he'll tell people, and then everyone will think you're going to come in and take their stuff. You can't run a kingdom that way. No, all right. Well, then we'll have to do something about Thomas. What? Come in. Frederick, my favorite general. How goes the war? As Lewis has told you, the pie war has grown ferocious. Ah! We need more men at the front. Lewis didn't tell me that. I was trying to, but you wouldn't come out of the... Hmm. More men, eh? Yes, we need more men. You know... I believe Thomas would like to help. Thomas? He's rather small. He's surprisingly strong for his size. As you wish, sire. Your Highness! And one more thing, Cedric. Put Thomas at the front of the battle. Then have everyone else step back. But he'll be creamed. Your king has spoken. As you wish, sire. Lewis, meet me at dusk at the east gate. We've got a little job to do. It was terrible. Lewis didn't want Thomas to get hurt, and he certainly didn't want to take his ducky. But he also didn't want King George to send him to the pie war, too. So he did what the king asked. Try to act inconspicuous. just like your other duckies. What? Hold your tongue, infidel! This is the most perfect ducky the world has ever known! It's time for that! <gasps> Who could that be? Come in! 
Thomas. Yeah, Thomas. Back so soon? It was astounding. There he was, alone at the front line. But he never gave up. He stood his ground, and this little fellow single-handedly stopped the advancing horde. He did? He's a war hero, sire. Yes. Well, Thomas, I, uh... Incoming! Boys and Barry at three o'clock! I'm sorry. I'm afraid he's lost his mind, sire. The trauma of war. Oh, no. Well, how long will he be like this? No telling. Perhaps the rest of his life. Yeah? Cobbler in the hall! Hit the deck! Well, we will give him the highest honor of the kingdom. Yes, sire. If he were conscious, I'm sure he would thank you. I'll take him to his room now. Thank you, Cedric. Now, finally, I can take that bath. Oh, I feel just terrible. Oh, that's all right. I still have time for my bath. What? Are you the only one you think about? No. I've been thinking about this ducky for quite some time now. Since Thomas has lost his marbles, he won't be needing it. So, come on, help me out with that bath. Oh, great. Come in. I did. I see. And who are you? You remember me. I am Melvin, that slightly odd wise man who shows up every so often to tell you things. Ah, uh, yes. Well, what is it? I have to tell you a little story. Not now. I'm going to go take a bath. Come back at bedtime. It's important. Oh, okay. What's that? It's a flannel graph to illustrate. Ooh, flannel graph. There once was a man, a very rich man. He had a lot of sheep. He had a lot of lamb. He threw a lot of parties. He was dapper. He was tan. Yes, there once was a very rich man. Okay, great story. I'll uh, see you next time. I Wait just a minute. My story isn't done. It's about two men, and I've only mentioned one. Oh. There once was a man, a very poor man. He had next to nothing, just a little lamb. But he loved it like a son, and he fed it from his hand. Yes, there once was a very poor man. Then one day, there was a guest at the house of the rich man. What did he do? Have you guessed to feed the guest of the rich man? Well, let's see. He had plenty of sheep, so he could just share one of his sheep. Not a problem. He took the lamb of the poor man. He took the lamb of the poor man. The rich man took to feed his guest the very, very poor man's lamb. What? Is, that a, is this a true story? As surely as I stand before you today, my story is true. Who is that man? Tell me. To take the lamb of the poor man. When he had lots of sheep of the poor man, only had one. Man! For his cruelty, he will spend the rest of his days locked in my dungeon. Who is he? Oh, King George, you are that man. What? You are the king.
You have many duckies. But Thomas only had one, and he loved it very much. But you weren't thinking about Thomas. You were only thinking about yourself and what you wanted. But I... I... Your Highness, what you have done has made God very unhappy. For whether you are a king or just a kid, God wants us all to think of others first. You have been selfish, King George. And when we are selfish, we hurt the people around us, just as you have hurt Thomas. I... God wants us to love our neighbors, not hurt them. What do I do? What do I do? Here is what you must do. Ask God to forgive you. Ask Thomas to forgive you. And then... Yes? Make it right. Well, King George knew exactly what to do. Lewis, draw a bath. What? Trust me. Okay. I gotta find Thomas. He figured a nice hot bath in the royal tub would help Thomas. Hello? Here, let's clean you up a little. And sure enough, he was right. Hey, where am I? Wow, big tub. Am I in heaven? No, silly. It's just my bathtub. I've got something for you. My ducky! King George told Thomas what he had done and asked Thomas if he could forgive him. After thinking it over a bit, Thomas said yes. Then King George prayed and asked God to forgive him too. Yes, sir, being forgiven felt really great. And the people he had hurt, Thomas and even Lewis, by making him do things Lewis knew were wrong, felt much better once they knew King George was really sorry. Yep, it was a happy day. So, King George, what'd you learn today? What I learned? Let me tell you. Today, I learned to be unselfish. other day i wanted to be happy i thought it was the way but it weren't i think you mean wasn't it wasn't the way well now i know just what to do before i think about me i better think about you so send a message out to every boy and girl there's no better way to make a really yucky world than being selfish Wasn't.